Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your August 2021 Is It in the Cards Love Tarot Reading. This is a love tarot reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I post new readings every Monday and then again on Friday. So if a reading doesn't resonate or if you're not looking for a love reading, you can always check back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. Or on Monday, this format is different from week to week. So Mondays are normally and every Friday is a general reading. So if you're not looking for a love reading, there's plenty of general readings here that you could choose from. And I want to thank everyone for your support. I have been reading tarot for over 30 years. I absolutely love it. I love doing this and we will continue. So thank you for that. And if um, you like tarot and you like this channel and you haven't subscribed, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, then you won't miss a thing. Let's, um, let's get the advice for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Virgo need to know about love, please? What messages do you have for Virgo about love? Okay. So we'll draw three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you are attracting, three cards for the advice, and then we'll have an Angel Answers Oracle card reading. I've been seeing judgment a lot lately in these. You've got judgment. I've been seeing that too, the Hanged Man and the Ace of Wands. That also I've seen. You've got the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Seven. This is the person you're attracting. I apologize. I got going. The Seven of Cups. That's their energy. The um, advice is the King of Swords, the Fool, and the Page of Wands. Well, right away, they say take a leap of faith, okay? So there's something about this, taking a leap of faith here. Um, and there's communication for sure with this. You've got a very mature energy representing you here, Virgo. You've got, um, let's see, fire, air, earth. you got all the elements here. So with judgment, it's div you're divinely guided, okay? The, the characters in the card, they're, they're liberation here. There's freedom from bondage here. There's freedom from judgments of other people's people. It's a card of forgiving the past, forgetting the past, moving forward. And it's also a card of self-mastery. When you know yourself, you know the universe. It is, like I said, it's a very mature energy. There's great peace about you in this particular ener energy field. There's an easiness and a calm about you. With And I don't know if you're some kind of a therapist or somebody who's in a helping profession. Certainly could be with judgment and the hanged man. The hanged man, for some of you, you may be changing your mind. If you haven't been dating anyone or you haven't been interested, there may be somebody here. I do feel like you've had um, encounters with them before. Um, I don't know that it was a full-fledged relationship, but for somebody, I feel like you're changing your mind about somebody, and they will be interested, okay? But with the um, the hanged man here, it's all about changing your perspective. It's surrender to win. It's being very easy and open. It's like people will feel like they can talk to you about anything. And this person may tell you about something that is very, um, it's an area that's very touchy for them. It's like they're very vulnerable, but I do feel like they're going to open up to you because they do have a guarded guardedness about them. I feel like they've had some kind of a loss. We'll talk about them in a minute. And that's that's it's like they can connect with you on a deeper level. So with the Ace of Wands, it's not all just about deep feelings here. There's passion too. The Ace of Wands can be an apology. So if it was a relationship that just didn't get off the ground, um, they may come back and have some some regret around that or even an explanation that makes it make sense. If it was like one of those things where it seems like they ghosted you, there could have been a good reason. But with the Ace of Wands, there's passion here. It's like getting the, the match and the excitement that you've always wanted. And it pulls you. There's an energetic pull here. It can be a very, um, like in terms of chemistry, having great chemistry with someone too. Very like a sexually charged kind of a chemistry. Now, with the um, the person you're attracting, I do feel like they have their act together with the King of Pentacles. They may be an earth sign here, um, or it could even just be because it's it's your energy that it's showing up here. That's also okay. 
The King of Pentacles allows stability and new growth all around you. And, and this is their energy. So when I say that, I mean, in terms of a relationship, the relationship will grow. I also feel like there's, there's enough financial stability here on their part where you'll be able to come together. But it's like there's something with that Eight of Swords. Um, maybe it's too much thinking, but it feels like I said, more like a loss that they sustained at some point that it weighs on them. And so th there could be, if it it's, it's the person we talked about where they've, you've had some interactions, maybe just sort of a sense of guilt with that. And even a series of things that they did where they felt like they would have, they wish they would have handled some things better. I hear that they wish they would have handled this better, but with the King of Pentacles, um, it is somebody who gives back. It's a very, a very generous energy. The Seven of Cups, though, with this, I feel like they have a lot of different things going on around them. I don't feel like it's like they're dating other people. I, I mean, They may have other options. I mean, I don't want to completely rule that out, but I don't feel like they're interested in it. I do feel like they are only interested in pursuing you at this point. But with that Seven of Cups, again, you know, it may also be for some of them, they got to the point where they saw that they missed out on something and they realized that it was worth trying again or trying to reconnect with you, especially if you got like a message or something from them that seemed out of the blue and, or, or even if it's, it's a new person and they do message you, it may be just breaking a cycle where they're trying to get better balance in their life. That it comes through for me on this, but with the outcome here, You've got a beautiful opportunity. The fool is always representing a transition. It's telling you the soul is always victorious. And so it's releasing releasing all resistance, much like the hanged man. The fool is free. So we talked in the beginning about it, taking a leap of faith. It's a brand new clean slate. It's a new beginning. And there's absolutely no judgment here. The fool is the beginner's mind. And so it really is about moving forward in a loving, a very high vibrational place. There's honesty and purity here too. So um, again, it doesn't feel like anything catastrophic has happened in the past in terms of this relationship. The King of Swords is, it's interesting that you have the two kings here. A great communicator though, very cerebral though. Um, and even the King of Pentacles too tends to be more on that, um, you know, good at making decisions kind of quiet humility, but makes decisions easily. So with this, it's making the decision to move forward. The King of Pentacles is that conversation too, excuse me, King of Swords, I apologize. That conversation too, that moves things forward. So maybe they're an air sign as we look at this. And I see when I mentioned earlier, it might be your energy in there, um, you know, showing up in their energy field. And it may be more like they're an air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. But with the Page of Wands, that's also an uplifter. The Page of Wands and the Fool are fun energies together. So it allows you to be with somebody where there's an uplifting. There's no competition here. It's not a, you know, can I one-up you and be better than you? It's like, wow, that's really cool. Hey, you want to go to the gym? You want to go to this new bookstore? It's not a, um, there's no, there's no arrogance here. And so with this, it definitely moves forward, but there is a conversation, like I said, that happens. And some of it might be just, let's just see how this goes. You know, Abraham Hicks always says their favorite wedding vows is, I like you pretty good. Let's see how it goes. And it kind of is about just being easy about it and not trying to, you know, have expectations that are so rigid that you might get disappointed. So be easy about it if you're meeting someone new. They are fun. I mean, they've learned from their experiences too. And they don't live there. So this is not somebody who's going to bring in tons of baggage and neither are you. It's not bringing in an ex into the relationship. You know that one where all the, the person does is talk about their ex. I don't see you doing that either because you've got healing here. So it's healing in a new beginning. And it makes things fresh and fun and exciting. I like to see the fool because in something like um, a new relationship because it really is pure potential. It's the number zero. I mean, it's absolutely pure potential and it can go anywhere. So allow it to manifest, allow it to become beautiful. 
And let's see about a, yes, no, maybe for Virgo. And then we'll have Louise Hay pop in here. Meditation brings answers. Now, of course, with the hanged man and judgment, those are cards about your subconscious being connected to the divine. So the meditation certainly makes sense. Quieting the mind and allowing your mind to be open, open to new opportunities. I haven't seen this in ages, compromise. So whatever it is that they're dealing with, we talked about being easy in things. And it feels like that really does assist, you know, not having um, rigid you know, paradigms that they have to fit into is going to go a long way because there is success here. And it doesn't mean that you give up, um, you know, what you want in life. It's not like you let the person treat you like crap, like you're supposed to go out and they don't show up and you go, well, I'm not supposed to be rigid. It's just kind of like being understanding and allowing them to talk and give some information within the next few weeks, because I feel like that shifts something. Whatever this conversation is, is meaningful. They give you a yes. So everything is working out for my highest good. Trust that even in challenging times, the universe only wants what's best for you. True story. So good things are happening. I'd say yes, it is in the cards here. It's a developing and fun thing showing up here. I love you, Virgo, and I'll be back again soon.